Hello everybody, the title of this video is The Despotism of the Petticoat. It's a great line out of a, out of a uh, letter that John Adams wrote. Let me give you the backstory. I, um, I found this book called Making Marriage uh, at my local university. It's a book about uh, husbands, wives, and the American state in Dakota and Ojibwe country. It's, I haven't read through the book yet, but from what I surmise, it's a, uh, it's a book about uh, how the missionaries had a very difficult time sort of setting up government and, and sort of incorporating Native American tribes into that government because on a fundamental level, the viewing of marriage, they were very far apart from us. Native American cultures, at least in these northern territories, did not view marriage the way that we Westerners view marriage and the marriage roles and so forth. So it just it, it made it extremely difficult to sort of absorb them into our own culture. I'm not going to talk about the book because I haven't uh, read it, but I did read through the introduction and I discovered something that um, was new to me and I'd like to share that now. The introduction mentions a couple of letters between John Adams, our second president, and his wife Abigail. They wrote hundreds and hundreds. I think there's like over 1,100 um, letters between the two of them. So um, this is just a couple of letters that they wrote. It was wrote. Th these letters were written during the Continental Congress uh, in 1776 they were sort of forming up and Abigail wanted news of the new American government and she wanted John Adams to remember the ladies is how she put it when they were deciding on laws for the colonies she writes in one of her letters to to him um, quote do not put such unlimited power into the hands of the husbands remember all men would be tyrants if they could that your sex are naturally tyrannical is a truth so thoroughly established as to admit of no dispute. Why then not put it out of the power of the vicious and the lawless to use us with cruelty and indignity with impunity? Men of sense in all ages abhor those customs which treat us only as the vassals of your sex. Now clearly Abigail and all women of that time did not have a reference that we have now to realize that tyranny is not gender specific. Women have shown that they are equally tyrannical and maybe more so in some cases. Um, what's interesting to me is not what Abigail wrote to John Adams, though that is rather interesting. Adams' short response to her plea is, is really telling and it's sort of a MIGTO philosophy or a sort of a, I guess maybe a stardust type of philosophy and it, it's brilliant it says quote depend on it we know better than to repeal our masculine systems although they are in full force you know that they are little more than theory we dare not exert our power in its full latitude we are, are obliged to be to go fair and softly and in practice you know that we are the subjects we have only the name of masters and rather than give up this which would completely subject us to the de despotism of the petticoat uh, he goes on and on talking about how we should fight all despotism all forms of despotism monarchy anarchy etc but that despotism of the petticoat, I just thought it was brilliant and uh, it was telling and it confirms all that we have been saying as MGTOW, especially the last few years, about female nature, male nature. I, I can't say that I disagree with Abigail. Men, you know, men are subject to that axiom, you know, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely, but so are, so are women, right? But what's interesting to me is that, you know, even 300 years ago, during what is supposed to be the pinnacle of patriarchy, Adams declared that it was in essence only a title, that women probably held the real power and that they were the subjects of that power. 
that their title was in name only. And it seems to me that the reason why government protected men and men's rights in our history was because they needed it. They needed that protection. They needed to keep in check that, quote, despotism of the petticoat. petticoat. Women didn't need that protection so much, it seems. You might be able to deduce from what John Adams is saying. But men certainly did need it. And without it, look at what, what, look at what we have become as a, as a society. Thanks for listening. And I hope you enjoyed the uh, short video. And please, feel free to, uh, to, to, to give me any comments. I really love getting all the comments and talking with you and hearing what you guys have to say. So thanks again. Have a great day.